if you are struggling um, with uh, inheritance of um, incomplete dominant morphs um, like I did uh, when I started um, to breed uh, boa morphs um, this video is for you what's up everybody uh, welcome to another video um, today as promised I like uh, to uh, talk about incomplete dominant uh, inheritance um, when I started to uh, learn about uh, morphs um, I was taught um, that it's uh, called uh, co-dominant uh, morphs uh, however um, you never stop learning so um, today we are talking about incomplete uh, dominant morphs um, I've already done a video about uh, dominant morphs um, that might be helpful to watch first um, before we jump in uh, with the uh, incomplete dominant morphs. So incomplete dominant morphs are for example Motley, Jungle, Hypo, so I think that's uh, the main uh, labyrinth. Um, the main morphs uh, to mention. So for all these morphs, for all these morphs, this works the same. So the first question, as always, should be not how is a motley uh, passing its genes uh, to the babies. It is what kind of uh, inheritance is um, the morph I like to work with. So, for example, here I prepared a Punnett square and we want to breed a motley to a motley. So, the abbreviation is a big M for motley and uh, an N for uh, Y type. So, and we are multiplying. every quarter and what we see here is we have 25% of the litter are super motley 50% of the litter are motley and another 25% Uh, I call it Y type, uh, you know what I'm talking about. So this is what happens and that's this, always the same. The same is also for a labyrinth or for jungle. So you are receiving super jungle or super hypo. Uh, I also um, I also have done a video about uh, how to identify a super hypo. Um, when we checked out uh, our uh, VPI uh, snow glow litter and um, yeah, that's, uh, that's how it works for all of these morphs. So the difference between an incomplete dominant and a dominant morph are these 25% here in the top left corner. Um, because this is a homozygous form and uh, if you have an incomplete dominant morph uh, the homozygous form you can tell, you can identify by the look at it because it has a different um, appearance so uh, for example like super motley uh, like patternless uh, in a black and sort of grayish color uh, labyrinth, um, the crystal boa, uh, boas, you can uh, I clearly identify uh, them just by the look. Um, super jungle or super hypo, it's, it's all the same. You can see um, if it's a homozygous uh, animal or a heterozygous animal. And um, it's interesting um, because a super animal like a super hypo for example 
only produces hypo babies. So if you are breeding a super hypo um, to a wild type animal, you receive a complete litter out of hypo. Um, my example here is kind of a bad one, but I wanted to talk about this uh, because this is a breeding I recommend to never do um, because of the 25% super motley. Uh, we have been producing a little, I think back in 2012, um, from a motley to motley breeding because there, so there have been rumors uh, that um, the super motley are not viable and um, we wanted to make our own experiences. So we did a, uh, produce a litter back in 2012. Uh, we produced um, a super motley, head albino and uh, albino super motley. And um, they were feeding uh, like the perfect animal. Um, I, I think they even started to, to feed first uh, without any problems and um, but they had a very uh, small uh, growth rate um, and uh, I also I already talked about it um, it, it looked like um, the muscles in the neck are uh, kind of missing um, they had a really tiny pinhead I mean you you know some motleys also tend to, to look that they have a, a smaller head, uh, kind of, um, but the super motley is uh, way smaller and it simply doesn't look healthy. And uh, both animals died uh, within one and a half years, uh, two years, and um, we've never produced any other um, super motley uh, on, on purpose again uh, sometimes it can happen if you're just working with a motley for example hypo to motley however um, they it's said that they can still produce some super motley so uh, but at least i would i cannot recommend to do such a breeding uh, on purpose because you you uh, you don't have fun it's it's uh, you cannot enjoy um, these animals and uh, you are also not uh, want to uh, sell uh, such an animal um, to one of your customers um, that's just brings a lot of stress for everyone and um, yeah so in my opinion you should everyone should avoid doing this breeding at all all right that's it for today uh, i hope you enjoyed the video uh, thanks a lot for watching uh, please consider uh, to subscribe um, to uh, this channel so you won't miss our further videos um, right now i'm uploading one video a day and uh, i do my best uh, to keep the videos coming take care Talk to you soon, um, most likely tomorrow. Bye.